Halloween is almost here and you've got kids preparing their costumes and you've got houses just like this decked out with spooky decorations. Now this will be the second year where we've had to deal with Halloween trick-or-treating during a pandemic and COVID trick-or-treating 2.0 doesn't need to be scary. The government is reminding everyone to make sure the person handing out candy from your home is healthy. Consider sitting outside and lining up individually packaged goodies on a table for kids to take. Parents should keep sick kids home and to trick or treat only with members of your household or a small group of close contacts. Also incorporate a mask into your costume for an added layer of protection. A team of volunteers from Access Communications will continue a 25 year long tradition in Saskatchewan by driving around 11 communities in specially marked vehicles as part of their pumpkin patrol program. They've got orange flashing lights, glow in the dark signage, and most importantly, a direct line to police enforcement. So if any trouble arises, uh, we can contact the police very quickly. Food Allergy Canada is promoting the Teal Pumpkin Project. Families are encouraged to place a teal colored pumpkin or a teal colored light in front of their home to indicate they have non-food treats available for children with food allergies. And drivers, be aware of your surroundings. There will be a lot of extra people near roadways at night. Try to avoid driving in subdivisions if possible during the 5 to 9 p.m. hours when most trick-or-treating takes place and simply slow down. You never know when a kid could dart across the street or in between parked cars. So keep these tips in mind to make your Halloween not only fun, but safe. Kimberly Fowler, Global News.